Hello, up, guys. guys. Um, welcome to another episode of Playmat Format. Uh, yep. Openings. This videos. is Joe Cruz MTG from Cruz MTG channel. Go check that one out. And while you're at checking things out, uh, whether you go online or you get a nifty little app on your phone called Patreon, you guys should go. Oh shoot! What is going on? You should go check that out. Um, we have our own Patreon. I got a link in the About Me. Um, it's Playmat Format. Uh, we're creating Magic Gathering videos, and uh, YouTube doesn't pay, guys. It really doesn't. Nope. So if you guys want to... Help us out. Help he us he out. Help some brothers out. Get some better equipment. Trust me. It'll be worth your time. But today, we're opening up Heroes Beyond Death. Booster box. Um, we will have some prizes for Patreon, so you don't ha you're not just signing up for free, guys. No, no, you're gonna get stuff like you're later get on when we buy stuff and stuff. The more money we have to buy stuff and to hook people up, the better. Uh, right now we're going to open this up and separate <laughs> the packs because that's how we're doing it like we did last time on the last video. Yeah, and, um, we're not opening all the packs. Not all the packs. Uh, somebody already paid us 10 bucks for some. So we're going to give them some of the packs. Some of the packs, yeah. Cousin, of course. Up here. Oh, yeah. Alright, we're gonna open this up real fast. Jesus, fuck. Yeah, they really do not. My bad, guys. Didn't mean to cuss, but we're gonna take all the packs out like last time. And then I'm gonna separate them from dudes. And then we're gonna go two, two, and two again. That's Makes how sense, we're gonna man. do it. Okay. Let me get that out of the way. Woman. <laughs> Three-headed dog. Woman. Dude. Woman. Dude. Three-headed dog. Woman. Three-headed dog. Woman again. Dude. Looks like we're getting more woman. Yeah. Dude. Dude. Three-headed dog. Woman. Dude, dude's catching up. Woman. Dude. Woman. Dude. Nobody likes the three-headed dog. Three-headed dog. I love the three-headed dog, man. <laughs> That's such a good card, especially in this set with all that freaking bring back shit from the graveyard. Shenanigans. You get that three-headed dog on the field, they can't do it at all. <laughs> uh I can't believe I pulled that. I was so happy for that. And then not one single mythic out of the other box. No, uh, yeah. Okay. I, I got one, a lot of the really good stuff out of that. One. Uh, yeah. There's two. Two. Okay. So two of you go there. Two of you go there. And two of you go here. And then, let's see, you had woman in that, nope. Woman in this one, too. What's on this one? Dog for you. Oh, wow. We're running out of dog. Uh, I guess man for, man for this one. Um, dog. And man, I guess. And then... Woman, woman, man again, screw it, man, man, one man, one woman, bam, woman, woman, and then one woman, woman. All right, which ones do you want to open up, my friend? Not the middle ones. The ones out All here. right, I'll choose this one, and this one goes back into the box. 
Alright guys, we're gonna get started. Uh, JoJo's gonna open up his packs. Read off the rares for you guys. You guys already seen a lot of the uncommons and commons in the set nowadays. So oh yeah. yeah. We'll just go straight to the rares. Ooh, if I can even get them out. Satyrs. Alright. Well. Um, very first rare. That's his intervention. That's his intervention. I like that. That's good. Uh, look at the top. X cards of your library put up to two of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any random order counter target spell unless this controller pays twice X oh now that's a counter that's, yeah that's <laughs> that's a counter I like that that's awesome shoot who wow I don't know. Loose packs, guys. Loose packs. They're loose packs. That's not good. Card Kingdom better not be doing this. Come on, man. <laughs> well, you know for a fact they're not. <laughs> nah, I know. Card Kingdom's one of the best Gah! places to buy stuff. Crap. I hate those things. Oh, Ooh, protein. protein thaumatage. Thaumatage. Another good rare. Rare. Protein thaumatage. As Constellation, whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, you may have Protein Thaumatage become a copy of another target creature except it has this ability. Ooh. So it could just become any creature on the battlefield, but with the same ability. So it could transform into any other creature if you play one. Yeah. No kidding. That's that's a good ability. I like that. Ooh. Ooh. Zombie. New zombie token. I'm taking that. That's mine. <laughs> um. Storm's Wrath. Storm's Wrath, guys. Guys, a Storm's Wrath going on. Storm's Wrath says Storm's oh, Wrath yeah, deals bad. four damage to, to each, each creature, creature and each planeswalker. Ooh. So, really good if you're not really doing real well. I play Ashiok. No, you don't. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. Daxo. Uh, oh, not Daxo. Daxo. It's Trimeret. Timeret. Timeret. Tamarant. That's uh, not a rare, but it's a uh, it's a really good demigod. demigod. Demigods are awesome. Uh, its toughness is equal to your devotion to black. Ooh, devotion. Um, for two, you can exile up to two target cards from graveyards, not your own, from graveyards. You gain life for each creature card exiled. Well, you could do way. your own. Well, yeah, it, it just says, says from, from graveyards. graveyards. That's what I'm trying to say. Is like you can. Wow, that is. But that's good. Fuck your opponent's graveyards and fucking afterlife bullshit. Oh yeah. Just get what rid of. What are you talking about? You're the one who does all the afterlife <laughs> shit. <laughs> that was uh, an awesome deck. I ain't gonna complain about that. Oh, that was a good deck. That. That's a good deck, guys. Uh, wow. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Ooh, foil. It's just a common, but uh, foil underworld rage hound. I'll go ahead and show that to you guys. That's because it's foily. Because it's foily. Look at that. Okay. Um, mantle of the wolf is my rare. Do it is an enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus four plus four, and when Mantle of the Wolves is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, create two, two two green wolf creature tokens. Two two two. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot to say all in one. Wow, that's uh, that's that's rather nice. I like that. Um, Destiny Spinner. Creatures and enchantment spells you control can't be countered. This is an uncommon, guys. Yeah, Holy it's really crap. good, man. The uncommons are really good in this set. I really like it. Sometimes better than the rares, rares that sure. you get. Except for Shattered Sky. I'm sorry. That's a great... Oh, yeah. 
A great card. Uh, Hateful Idolin. One, two, lifelink. Whenever an enchanted creature you... Whenever an enchanted creature dies, draw a card for each aura you controlled that was attached to it. That's, that's okay. That's pretty good. And in Illyrios. Everybody knows what an Illyrios does. Legendary creature. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's all that's cool in that. All right, moving on. I like this little face chick. Right? That's like Ashiok. That's Ashiok? That's Ashiok. Ashiok, and then what, that before purple... she? No, that's where she did, man. She's in the underworld, and you're supposed to wear a mask in the underworld, but it breaks off, and she escapes, man. Hmm. Weird. That's, Except that's for weird. when Cerberus comes after you. Oh, <laughs> goat! I like goats. Ooh, the kitty cat. Yeah. Very common rare lately. I, I think it's a bulk rare now. It is. Uh, <laughs> but it's good. It's good. It would be great for lie. Lucille's cat deck. Yeah, green and white. We're going to have to build her a new cat deck. Oh, yeah. Ooh, there's a good demigod. Uh, Renata. I mean, Call I to the hunt. Uh, Renata's power is equal to your devotion to green. Each other creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional 1-1 one, one counter on it. Nice. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. I like that one. I too. like these. These are like turned to frogs pretty much, except for They turn into they just, enchantments. They just turn into of... an enchantment. Fuck your giant creature. It's an enchantment now. Yep, yeah, it's an <laughs> enchantment now. Ugh. 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 Bulk commons, man. Bulk commons. That's not a thing, but hey. It's always a thing, unless you're opening master sets, which Patreon guys, Patreon. you will get a master's box to show off and give away rares to Patreons. Yeah, to pay our patrons, man. You guys, I've said it before and I'll say it again. YouTube don't pay. Ooh, I like that. A treacherous blessing for the rare. This nice little enchantment tells us that when it enters the battlefield, you get to draw three cards. Whenever you cast a spell, you lose one life. And when it becomes a target of spell or ability, you sacrifice it. Oh, well, that wasn't all that cool. It, it's kind of cool. I mean, you get three cards out of it. The only Man. bad thing is you lose life. You lose life and then you have to sacrifice it. I mean, and then you can play well, it again. sacrifice this. No problem. They get rid of that. Yeah. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't want to lose too much life. And then Mystic Repel will let you bring it back. Pretty yeah. Well, no, it puts it on the bottom of its uh, bottom of the library. That's pretty cool. Um, another Daxos. He's pretty Not cool. A, let's put that right there. Yeah. You can go along with the cool ones. You want to separate those into... Um, uncommons and rares, guys. Here's yes. the uncommons. Oh, they actually can't see it. Oh. Pull them back. Bam. Uncommons, rares. We'll um, just... Scoop up them like this. So, here's a nifty little one. It's uh, agonizing remorse. I'm gonna put that one right there. It's not that cool. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose an online card from it or a card from their graveyard. Exile that card. You lose one life. Good price to pay for removal, honestly. Especially in the grave section of that. By the way, Card Kingdom is not taking the regular rares since those uh, collector booster boxes came out. Oh. So if you're going to sell them, uh, TCG Player, guys. Yeah, go to TCG Player for TCG now. Player is cheap. They don't give you store credit, but they'll give you cash 
for your cards. Woo! Another one. Another <laughs> Galia. Uh, I got a Galia out of when I first uh, opened packs out of these guys. And uh, now he has three. <laughs> three? <laughs> yeah. And oh, yeah. You, you oh. built your first deck around Galia. Yeah. That was you not, didn't that's have not an enough idea. satyrs, though. Now you might. Yeah, shoot between everything. Hey, look at that! Yeah, see, and I believe that's a good save, actually. Yeah, so, uh, that's a mentor. Yeah, a uh, minotaur. minotaur warrior. Trample warden of the chain can't attack unless you control another creature with power four or greater, which would be really easy in a centaur deck. Come on, they're fucking centaurs. Um, careless. Ooh. Careless Watch Celebrant. <laughs> when Careless Celebrant dies, it deals two damage to dark creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. Not bad. Field of Ruin. It is a land, and you can sacrifice it to destroy target non-basic land and opponent controls. Each player searches their library for a basic land card, puts it onto the battlefield, then shuffles their library. That's, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, actually it is kind of dope. A bunch of uncommons. Bunch of commons. Filthy commoner. Filthy oh. commons. Why does it keep doing that? Nah, not really. Commons are actually really They're good. good. Commons are it's good. It's just, they're not worth anything, so... They have really good player value, though. But if you do play paper cards, like we do... Good vet, such a good card. Labyrinth of Scophis. Oh, and that guy land. goes with that land. Oh. oh, really? Whenever another creature become okay, so a uh, Scophis Maze Warden. Ooh, yeah, combo man, combo. <laughs> Um, no, that's not what I was talking about. Uh, that's probably cool, too. Scophus Maze Warden. You can pay one for it to get plus one, plus one until end of turn whenever another creature enters the battlefield. Uh, whenever another creature becomes the target of an ability of a land plus you control one minus named... One. Oh, plus one, minus one. Oh, okay. My bad. You may have him fight that creature. That's, that's pretty cool. That's okay. He we'll gets. He can get pretty big, man, and then use his second ability with this and just bam, take out somebody's creature. Yeah, comes uh, in handy. Kalifi, beloved of the sea. Another Kalifi. I have so many Kalifis. I think I have one too. I don't remember. I have a foil one of her. Yeath. Uh, Sweet Oblivion. Always wow. nice. Always nice. I love that card. And a bunch of commons. This one's... I don't know why I really like this common. It's a really cool enchantment creature. It just looks really cool. That's that's all. All right. Anything else really cool in here? Uh, Omen of the Sun. No, not really. All right. Moving on. Got four packs left. Oh wow, that's so cool! A human soldier. No, I'm just kidding. Um. Ooh. Nice. Dryad of the Elysian Grove. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. Lands you control are every basic land type in addition to their other types. This is the card that you got in the draft. Yeah. That's a good card. Yeah. Really good. Probably not worth shit. Actually, it's one of the highest rares in the sets. So. Ooh. But uh, to Card Kingdom, it ain't worth shit unless it's a... Uh, the foil or altar. Uh, the pre-release or the altar. Oh. Furious Rise, an enchantment that says, At the beginning of your end step, if you control a creature with power 4 or greater, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card until... You XL another card with Furious Rays. Oh. Mm. Eh. Mm. Eh. It would have been better if it said without paying its mana cast. I like that chariot there. Thundering Chariot, a 3 3 artifact vehicle, first strike, trample, haste, and it only takes one to crew it. That's. 
That's pretty cool, actually. You tap a one mana creature. Boop. <laughs> yeah. Attack. <laughs> hey, here you go. Like this guy right here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Alcide of Life's Bounty. A 1-1 one, one lifelink, and you can tap one to sacrifice him. And target creature or enchantment, you control gains protection from the color of your choice. So you can get that crewed real quick. And if somebody targets him, you can uncrew it. To untarget things, I guess. Where? Right here. here. My chew bottle. <laughs> yeah. Chew bottle. Oh, uh, Satyr's cutting. Da, da, da. Hey, there I go. Satyr's cutting. Satyr's, man. Ooh. 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 It's a common, but it's an escape card, and escape is kind of his forte right now. <laughs> um, I don't blame him. I should have went for escape rather than, you know, oh, I can put a bunch of creatures out and just swing, and, well, I can't block with them. It so. didn't work out as no. well because his creatures were bigger than he thought they were and had to cast so much mana to play anything. I was like, dude. <laughs> Not really. It took you forever just to play one card. Yeah, I had the like highest five card in my cards. Hand. <laughs> yeah, that's the highest card in my hand. I had a bunch of shit on the field. I just couldn't. I couldn't swing because everybody had higher shit. Uh, let's get those down here. Uh, another eat to extinction, guys. Ooh, eat to extinction. Eat to extinction. Two, three. Uh, no, I think it went down to a dollar something now. Yeah. It was two, three bucks. A mystical repeal. Put target enchantment on its on the bottom of its owner's library. That's that was a good one. Whenever you cast your first spell, each uh, a stinging lionfish. Sorry, my bad. Whenever you cast your first spell during each Opponent's turn, you may tap or untap target non land permanent. You mm. need flashcards with that. Just yeah. <laughs> uh, the Binding of Titans, a enchantment saga. One, each player puts the top three cards of their library into their graveyard. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, I got this one in the pre release tournament. If I yeah, remember correctly. you did. You uh, played it on me, too. Yeah. Exile up to two target cards from graveyards. For each creature card exile this way, you gain one life. Three, return target creature or land card from the graveyard to your hand. Yeah, my dudes that I was going to bring out the next turn, he f fucking played that. And oh, it was such a good play. It was probably <laughs> my best play that entire game. Ooh, another Seder. <laughs> he likes it's, his satyrs, guys. It, it was a really good one. It had Constellation. I got good ones from the old Thero set, if you want to check those out. Ones that didn't have stupid tokens that didn't do shit? No, they're still... Tokens that don't do shit? Tokens that do... Ooh, Ooh, Mythic! Finally. Got $2 ourselves a Mythic. dollar Mythic, but it's still a Mythic. Kiora's best. Kiora bests the sea god as this enters the battle. Oh yeah, uh, everybody knows what a saga does. So, um, one create an eight-eight blue kraken creature token with hexproof. Two tap all non-land permanent target opponent controls. They don't untap during their controller's next untap step. Such Holy god, that's card. so good. <laughs> Three gain control of target opponent. Go w sorry, I read that wrong. I got way too excited. Gain control of target permanent and opponent controls. Untap it. Not till end of turn. Just gain control of it, and then you sack this. You just gain control of it. That That's a dope card. That's dope. That's, that's a little scary. That is pretty <laughs> scary. <laughs> that's a little scary. <laughs> I am rather excited. Nessian, Nessian but Wanderer. But so much mana. That's, yeah, it's a that's late That's the game. only problem. I mean, unless you're playing in, like, a good elf green and blue elf deck. That is true. Uh, whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, look at the top three cards of your library. You may reveal a land card from among them, put that card into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Or when you have cards like this. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Another. <laughs> Another freaking Daxos. Hey man, it goes Ugh. with your god. Yeah. You just true. keep gaining life, man. That's... That That's would, such a good card, though, yeah. in a life game deck. Yeah. 
That's yeah. definitely going in my white and black. Inevitable black end. Yeah. Enchant creature. Got one, but yeah. enchanted creature has at the beginning of your upkeep sacrifice a creature. Hi there, Lily. Lily. And then some doing? constellation stuff. And some more commons. You guys play. In Omen of the Dead. Well, let's see what he gets in the last Oh, pack. please give me a god. This is horse shit right now. Oh, wait. That's right. I forgot. I got that really cool planeswagger. Yep. And uh, I'll show that to you guys. Anything good like the gods come to me this time. So That's a rather cool... I have one of those. Foil? It's a foil one, yeah. I got it out of the Dream first. Stalker Manticore. Whenever you cast <laughs> your first spell during each opponent's turn, deal one damage to any target. It's a 4 2. Foil Lion! That's cute. That's cute. Uh, I think this is cute. I think this is way cooler. I have that card. Airbos Intervention. It's a really good card. Choose one. Target creature gets plus or uh, minus X minus X until end of turn. You gain X life. X up to twice X target cards from graveyards. Airbos intervention, guys. That's that's a good card. That's especially good card. if somebody's playing uh, escape. Just exile all their what? escape cards. Oh, no, that's that's okay. uncommon. Over here, it looked kind of weird, but that's this just because... This is actually a foil, so foils should get their own pile. You might want to go through then, because... Alright, uh, another Grey Merchant Asphodel. Um, nobody really cares about a Ferris Band Baller. Ooh, a Farikia's That's a good spawn. card, actually. Um... People uh, be playing three, that stupid motherfucker on uh, Arena. It really pisses me off. 3-4 uh, with uh, Escape 6. Uh, exile 3 he other cards from your graveyard. Cards for rares. For spawn escapes with two 1-1 one -one counters on it. When it enters the battlefield this way, each opponent sacrifices a non-Gorgon creature. It might be time for me to look into a Gorgon deck. <laughs> Yeah. Um, whole bunch of commons. All the commons in this set are really good. Everybody knows. All what they right. Are. Well, that was it, guys. Twelve packs. Um, uh, one thing to do, Joe. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Could I know. Way <laughs> the best um, card in the deck. No, but you know what? You have two of them already. You could. I'm going to give away this Gallia, guys. And one of the demigods. So you, you have, like, a whole shit ton. Yeah, I know, I know. So I think that is going to be... Um, let's see. No, no, I'm just going to choose this guy. Uh, I th Yeah, it's another Dax. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Arena. So, guys, we're giving away a Gallia and a Daxos. Um... We still have other things we're giving away? Yeah, I have two of the other ones out there. It was a... Uh, we still have those other two that we're giving away to. Khalifi and From the Breach. A card called From the Breach or something like that. Something like that. So It's a red card. Um, The way that you win these cards is you subscribe. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Um... Yeah, contact share. us. Share. Um, and if you really, 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 really want to get some cool stuff going on. Patreon. Patreon. That's that's our main thing right now. Yeah. You donate to Patreon, we're going to hook you up. That's, that's how theory. it is. Every time we buy a box, one of the Patreons will get something good. Yep. All right, guys. Uh... Let us know down in the comments uh, what you think about this set. Um, which card you like the most? Yeah, which card do you like the most? Uh, which uh, my biggest thing right now what is deck what deck do you want to see? Oh yeah, yeah, from the set played between me and Joe. Yeah, and what is the type of deck that 
you wanted to build with this deck when it came out because I thought that I was going to go purely creature, but to be honest with you, I think the best kind of decks to build in this is enchantment decks. It's... Yeah, or escape. Or escape. <laughs> um, Trust me, that escape deck I is, built... Is such a good mechanic. Enchantments and escape. That's all you need. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. All right, guys. Uh, Gallia and Daxos on the board for... That is such a good card. I know, right? All right. We'll see you guys next time. Um, Play Matt Format. On Play Matt Format.